Hi, myself Balyadu Devanandaram, working as associate professor in the department of CSC, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. Today's topics are derivation, parse tree, and ambiguous grammar and examples. A derivation is basically a sequence of production rules in order to get a input string. To derive an input string in the derivation, we need to consider two things. First is which non-terminal to be replaced. Second point, deciding the production rule by which the non-terminal to be replaced. Here we have two choices. We can replace a non-terminal in the sentential form, whether we can replace a leftmost non-terminal or rightmost non-terminal. If you replace leftmost non-terminal in the le sentential form, it is leftmost derivation. If you replace rightmost non-terminal, it is called rightmost derivation. Leftmost derivation. If the sentential, fo sentential form of an input is scanned and replaced from left to right, it is called leftmost derivation. See, sentential form. Sentential form will contain combination of terminals and non-terminals combination of terminals and non-terminals. Sentential form always contains combination of terminals and non-terminals. See, the given rules are E derives E plus E, E derives E star E, E derives ID. Three rules are given and the input string is ID plus ID star ID. This is the given input string. We have to derive this string by using these rules in the derivation. So, in the derivation, E derives e star e. I have taken rule number 2. This is rule number 1, rule number 2, rule number 3. So, I have taken rule number 2 that is e derives e star e. In the next step, in this, this is called sentential form. This is sentential form. It is containing combination of non-terminals and terminals. So, in the leftmost derivation, we need to replace always leftmost non-terminal. This E is the leftmost non-terminal in the RHS of the uh, production. So, I want to replace this now. E is replaced by E plus E. So, this E plus E is coming from this E. E derives E plus E. This star and E as it is. In the next step, leftmost non-terminal in this sentential form is this E. So, that I want to replace this E. E is replaced by ID. So, in each and every step, you need to replace only one non-terminal. You should not replace more than one non-terminal in the derivation. ID plus this is the leftmost non-terminal. ID is a terminal symbol, plus is a terminal symbol, E is the non-terminal, star is a terminal, E is a non-terminal. But leftmost non-terminal is this E. So, we need to replace this E by ID. In the next step, ID plus ID star ID. See, this string is derived from starting symbol. Derivation always begins with the start symbol E. This is called leftmost derivation, LMD, leftmost derivation. Next, rightmost derivation. The same string I want to derive, ID plus ID star ID, ID plus ID star ID by using rightmost derivation, RMD. In rightmost derivation, always you need to replace rightmost to non-terminal in the sentential form, E plus E. In this E plus E sentential form, rightmost non-terminal is this E. I want to replace this E. E plus E derives, I want to take rule number 2 now. Rule number 2 is E derives E star E. This E star E coming from this non-terminal E. So, this symbol, this symbol indicates derives. This symbol indicates derives. See, E plus E derives E plus E star E. So, something is derived from something. That is, 
a sentential form this sentential form is derived from this sentence sentential form by using this symbol in the next step left rightmost non terminal is this e i want to replace that e e plus e star e derives id in the next step e plus e star id so because in this sentential form this is rightmost non terminal i want to replace this e by id in the last step this is the only non terminal so replace this e by id id plus id star id this is rightmost derivation parse tree next topic is parse tree parse tree is a graphical representation of a derivation graphical representation of a derivation see this is the leftmost derivation for the string id plus id star id just now i have derived this id plus id star id for this uh, parse tree is like this e derives e star e e star e is a e star e is a sentential form so left hand side we have e that becomes root of the tree rhs we have e star e e is a non terminal star is a terminal e is a non terminal so e derives e star e star is a terminal symbol it is not a intermediate node we cannot replace star intermediate nodes can be replaced we, internal nodes can be rewritten in the next step e derives e plus e star e e plus e star e so this e is replaced by e plus e so same e derives e star e this e is replaced by e plus e plus e is a terminal star e is a terminal e e e are the non terminals in the next step e derives id plus e star e this e is replaced by this id id plus e star e so the extension of this parse tree is this e is uh, deriving id id plus e star e in the next step e derives id plus id star e this e is re replaced by this id so that this e is deriving id id plus id star e finally e derives id plus id star id this e is replaced by this e is replaced by id so that this e is deriving id so if you collect all the leaves of the tree you can get id plus id star id this is the string deriving by using parse tree parse tree is graphical representation of the derivation next topic is ambiguous grammar depending on the number of derivation trees the context free grammars are divided into two types one is ambiguous grammar another is unambiguous grammar what is ambiguous grammar a cfg is said to be ambiguous if there exist more than one derivation tree for the input string or for the same input string if you derive if you construct more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation that grammar is called ambiguous grammar for any string given string if you construct more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation that is more than one rightmost derivation means different rightmost derivations for the same string and different leftmost derivations for the same string then that cfg is called ambiguous grammar see if you take this example check whether the given grammar g is ambiguous or not g is a context free grammar it is a four tuple vtps v is a set of non terminals t is a set of terminals p is a set of production rules e, s is the start symbol in the cfg the, the rules will be in the form a derives alpha a is a single non terminal in the left hand side uh, alpha is a combination of terminals and non terminals c the given rules are e derives e plus e e derives e minus e e derives id so for the string id plus id minus id we have to show that the given grammar is ambiguous grammar how can we show the given grammar is ambiguous by constructing more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation so first i will construct leftmost derivation first leftmost derivation second leftmost derivation but 
two LMDs are different for the same string id plus id minus id. First derivation e derives e plus e. In the next step leftmost derivation means we need to always replace leftmost non-terminal so that this e is replaced by id plus e. In the next step the only one non-terminal is there that is e we need to replace that one e derives e minus e. In the next step id plus this is the leftmost non-terminal replaced by id minus e. In the next step id plus id minus id. This is leftmost derivation that is first leftmost derivation. For the same string another leftmost derivation e derives e minus e. This is rule number 2. E derives e minus e is rule number 2. E derives e plus e is rule number 1 e derives id is rule number 3. See, rule number 2 is e derives e minus e. In the next step, uh, in the given string, id is the first terminal, plus is the second terminal, id, then id, then minus, then id. So, already in the sentential form, we have minus symbol. So, that before that, in the left hand, uh, left hand side of this minus, we should have plus. So, that I need to use uh, rule number 1. So, that e plus e minus e. This is also leftmost derivation. Leftmost derivation 2, this is leftmost derivation 1. This e is replaced by e plus e. This is leftmost non-terminal e replaced by id plus e minus e. In the next step, id plus id minus e. In the next step, id plus id minus id. See, for the same string, two leftmost derivations are derived, constructed, so that the given grammar is ambiguous grammar. Like that, we have to prove that for the given string, if you uh, construct two leftmost derivations or two rightmost derivations or two parse trees, we can uh, declare that the given CFG is ambiguous grammar. Another example for the ambiguous grammar is check whether the given grammar G is ambiguous or not. S derives ASB or S derives SS, S derives epsilon is the uh, rules of the given grammar. So, for the string AABB, we need to construct two leftmost derivations or two rightmost derivations or two parse trees. Here, parse trees are constructed. Here, I will write uh, two leftmost derivations LMD1. S derives S S. This leftmost derivation means leftmost non-terminal should be replaced. S derives epsilon. S. Leftmost non-terminal, only one non-terminal is there, epsilon. S is replaced by rule number uh, 1. S derives A S B. A S B. In the next step, epsilon A. S is replaced by um, A S B. This ASB is coming from this S. The next step epsilon into A, A, S derives epsilon B, B. So that epsilon into A is A, A, epsilon into B is B, B. So A, A, B, B is derived. Another leftmost derivation LMD, LMD 2. S derives A, S, B. S derives A S B. Once again, S is replaced by A S B. S derives epsilon. So that A A B B. Same string can be derived by using two leftmost derivations, two different leftmost derivations. So that the given grammar is ambiguous. Thank you.